Hey, this is Tim Sykes, and I want to thank you for trying out this seven video lesson series. Um, you know, I've put these videos together really just to provide the basics to helping you understand how I've made my millions and now how my students make millions. Um, you know, there, there's nothing ridiculously complex here. It's just I need to take you through step by step what I do and how I look at the stock market so that you understand everything. Um, and, and I promise you, in video lesson number seven, I'm actually going to reveal something that I've never revealed to anybody before um, because I want you to learn, you know, and that's what it comes down to. And uh, I'm, I'm still learning. You know, I've been teaching for four years as a teacher. Um, but I'm still learning how to teach, and so every single new video lesson that I do, I get better and better because I understand what students need to achieve success. And this is why I have thousands of students now in over 60 countries. And you know, I just want to answer all your questions. I want to be the mentor that I never had because I'm all self-taught. I've been trading now for nearly 14 years, and I learned a lot of hard lessons that hopefully you don't have to. And please forgive this presentation. You know, I'm not going to dress it up. This isn't going to be some high-tech video lesson series. This is just about getting the information into your hands. Um, so let's start with why stock trading. Um, you know, there's a it's a big world. There's a lot of businesses out there. Why would you want to be a stock trader? And I'll tell you in picture form. <laughs> um, you know, this is this is me on my private jet coming to Las Vegas. Uh, I do an annual conference every year. We took a private jet this year, and I just we took this picture. I just love how it symbolizes freedom, and you know, wealth and achievement. Because I've you know made more money than any of my family or, or anyone in my town. You know, I'm from a small middle class town, um, and that's that's the beauty of the stock market, and that's the beauty of stock trading. You can make a lot of money, and you can really just be independent. It's not just about being oh I have so much money I can spend it and I live a happy life. No, that's not what life is about. But it's about having independence and doing what you love and doing what you want to do. And I'll tell you, you know, I'm trying not to be so superficial, but I do enjoy my money. And riding on a private jet is fun. It's amazing not to have to go through the whole security lines. I mean, little things like that really make your day better. Um, there's also some, some benefits to your ego. This is me on, uh, I rang the, the closing bell um, on the NASDAQ the other day. This was, this was me and my buddy Andy. And we're on the side of a building. Unfortunately, there was a window in front of his head. Not in front of mine. Well, a little bit. But it was just great to ring the closing bell. It was such an honor. Um, you know, I was on CNBC, and, and I've done all the press. Um, here's a picture of me on Young Money Magazine. I, they call me the Rebel Millionaire. Um, and I don't know why I'm a rebel, but I think it's probably just because I, you know, teach every single thing, whereas, you know, you don't have other actual millionaires. You have, like, internet marketers who say, oh, you can make so much money. Well, why aren't you a millionaire? Why aren't you showing your exact dollars? Why aren't you showing the profits of your students? That's what I do. And so I guess that makes me rebellious. I show everything. This is my view in Central Park, my friend Julia. You know, this is what life is about. I love looking out at Central Park, beautiful view, and this is one of my houses. I have, I have a few places. And I also get to travel. This was me in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Italy. I was overseas. I made a million dollars in 2010, and I was overseas for nine months in Greece and Italy and the Maldives. And, you know, if you compare pictures of me in the past to pictures present, you know, I've gained a little weight because I enjoy myself. I've been traveling all over the world and eating some amazing food. Check out this. This is milk pie in Santorini, a little town called Wea. And look at how scraggly I look, you know. <laughs> That's the beauty of stock trading. You don't have to shave. You know, I had this breakfast every single morning, this milk pie and this amazing banana smoothie. And guess what? I had internet access and I could work from Santorini. So sure, it cost a little money to travel, but I was making more money just working from Santorini for a few hours a day. That's the beautiful thing. Uh, one last travel picture. This was climbing Mount Fuji. Um, and it was just an amazing climb in Japan. I highly encourage you to do it if you ever get the chance. Uh, this is just a, a quick slide of my profits. You can see over the years, uh, since 1999, I've made about 2.65 million. Um, and I went about 70% of the time, as you can see in the lower left-hand corner of the stats. And this is over 2,000 trades. So my average trade I win, I make about $2,500. Um, and that's just in a few days. And, and that's what I try and do over and over and over again. And it's, it's very good. 
Uh, here's one account. Um, just since I've been teaching, I started teaching in November 2007. You know, I've been trading for a while, but I never really, you know, shared everything publicly uh, because I was on this TV show, Wall Street Warriors. You can watch it on Hulu if you're in the in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., get the DVD. It's good. Uh, but because of that TV show, everyone started saying, hey, you know, your story is amazing. 12,000 to 2 million, how'd you do it? So lots of people don't believe me because, you know, unfortunately turning a few thousand into a few million, this is what a lot of sneaky internet marketers claim that, oh, you can turn millions in from nothing. And unfortunately, they're lying. While the fact is that I'm not. So I went back to $12,000 in November 2007. I, I put out a press release saying, look, I'm... I'm challenging myself. You know, I'm putting out the challenge to myself. I'm going to repeat my feat. And so far now, in just over four years, I've turned 12,000 into 213,000. Um, while the S&P, if you had just invested, your 12,000 would have been turned into about 10,000. You're down about 20% versus me, and I'm up about 1,600%. This is just one brokerage account, think or swim. I have multiple brokerage accounts, but. I wanted to show step by step, and you can see every single trade as how I have, you know, made 1,600% when the overall stock market is down 20%. And Thinkorswim is just a regular brokerage. Um, they're actually now TD Ameritrade; they got acquired. But I have this one account, and you can see everything. So I'm I'm not back to two million yet, but I've also been distracted with, you know, thousands of students, and now I have multiple websites. So students are more important. You know, I still trade, obviously. Um, you know, I'm making about $300,000 a year in between all my accounts and trading, but I'm, I'm far more interested in, in my students and in some upcoming videos, I'm, I'm going to show you some of these students. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing what they've done. And that's the, the beauty of, of me being fulfilled as a teacher. Um, but I want to show you some stocks and, you know, I don't know what you know and what you don't know, but this is a chart of Google. This is one year. And you can see it's all over the place, you know, basically from 560 and now it's at around 560 and it's had a lot of choppiness all the way up to 640 and 480, you know, so if you invested a thousand shares, you know, we're talking $560,000. That's a lot of money to invest. And after a year, what do you have? $560,000. You would have been up 80,000 and you would have been down about 100,000, you know, at different points during the year. This is what the stock market is. 70% of stocks drop each year, no matter the bull market. People don't realize it, but that's the truth. Let me show you another well-known company. This is Intel. It's up a little bit from 20 to 23 over the course of a year, but again, you're only making a little bit of money. The way that I've turned 12,000 into 2 million and now 12,000 into 200,000 in just a few years is very different from Google and Intel and that's why I'm a teacher, because I'm sick of all the BS out there where you have CNBC and, and all these news organizations thinking that you should care about this stuff. You shouldn't, okay? You should use your small account to your advantage, and that's what I teach. So what are the advantages of penny stocks? First of all, what is a penny stock? A penny stock is a stock trading under $5 per share. Um, they're very speculative. They're very volatile. And the cool thing is that they're very predictable if you know what you're doing. Most people don't care about penny stocks. Um, you know, if you ask people on Wall Street, like they're like, what, penny stocks? No, those are, it's the Wild West, it's random. Well, to outsiders it is, sure. But I've developed some very simple rules and a framework that guide me to whether I want to buy or, you know, sell stocks. And it's, it's really not that complex, but when you make assumptions and you just say, oh, it's random, it's, you know, these stocks are just, they go from one to three in a day, I don't understand that stuff, it's so scary. Sure, anything is scary if you don't understand it. You know, if you're a newborn baby and you look out into the world, everything looks scary. The, the you know, emergency room at the hospital looks very scary. But once you begin to understand, wait a minute, this actually makes sense. So, you know, this is the beauty of penny stocks. Companies only have one or two products. The reason why Intel and Google are so choppy is because no one knows how to value the companies. You know, they have so many products. Google might have a, a new website and it's, it's taking off, but, you know, what is it compared to the overall company? It's, these are giant companies. Intel has thousands of products and tens and hundreds of thousands of employees. Penny stocks have one or two products and just a few employees. So it's either make or break. That's why they're so volatile. Their stocks are so volatile. 
is the product good or is it not? And in these video lessons, I'm going to teach you exactly how to determine whether the product is good or bad. It's, it's really not that complex. You don't have to, like, you know, understand um, mobile technology to, to try and judge the value of a technology. You know, I'm not into that game. I'm not that smart. But I do know my rules, and I have learned them, and I have refined them. So, question is, how do I trade penny stocks? And the answer is, you know, I don't day trade. Like, I don't, I'm not in and out. People think, oh, you know, I don't have time for this. There's so many assumptions. I get so many. Um, people think, oh, you know, you're, you're trading in and out 20 times a day, probably making like $50 per trade, and then you, then you add it up. No, remember, I make $2,500 per trade. I hold for a day or two sometimes a week, um, sometimes a few hours, but I don't trade that much, you know, um, and that's how I trade, and we'll go into that, but I just want to give you some basics now. I can't give you all the information at once because it will overwhelm you, um, but let me just show you a, a penny stock chart, for example. This is LEXG. This stock went from 1 to 10 in about a month and a half and back down to 1, and where that's where it's hanging out. So I like to trade it when it's volatile like this, on the on the way up and on the way down. And I'm not sure if you know this, but you can make money on the upside and the downside. You don't just need to say, oh, let me buy this stock and try and sell at the top. That's one way to do it. I did buy this at 138. I didn't hold all the way up to 10. I wish I did. I sold in the ones also, but I made about $1,500. And some of my students made tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars. One guy. He's uh, in, in, in the army, and he bought it right near when I did in the ones, and he sold some in the fives and the sevens, and I think some even in the nines. So he banked all inside of a month. And then we also made money on the way down. I made about $30,000 um, in total, or no, $25,000. I don't want to... You know, this I don't want to exaggerate, but this was a, a few months ago. You can look on my website. I'll sell. I'll tell you the exact you know number in a little bit. Um, but here is another stock, OPTT, and you can see it's been downtrending gradually. This is only a three dollar stock. It used to be a six dollar stock, but I don't care about it when it's downtrending. I care about it when it spikes. So I was in and out of this, and I was actually I made about seventeen thousand dollars on this on the way down, betting against it because I don't think that their products are good. So I waited for the spike and I bet against it. And again, I'll explain that. I know it sounds complicated right now, but it's really not. So stay tuned for more videos. Um, you know, I've got some pretty cool stuff to show you. And again, pardon the, the lack of, you know, ridiculous technology in this presentation. I, I'm a trader, okay? I spend most of my time researching. I spend most of my time teaching doing private calls, doing all sorts of things for my students. So this presentation, I just want to, you know, inspire you to say, wait a minute, there is opportunity here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how some of my students have left their full-time jobs to become part-time traders, and they're still earning the same amount. Um, and some people are, are earning more from trading than from their jobs. So stick around. I'll see you in the next video lesson. Thanks.